Hello, I'm Hai Ying Li. Welcome to Feature Extraction and Feature Engineering. In this video, we will discuss one of the techniques dealing with large categorical variables, feature hashing. Sometimes we may collect categorical data with many levels, such as the text message data. Text messages are now popularly used in higher education for college choice, college enrollment, and student success. So we can use feature hashing to compress the features. Feature hashing, also known as the hashing trick, is a technique used in machine learning and natural language processing to represent high cardinality categorical features in a fixed dimensional space. The idea behind feature hashing is to convert categorical variables into numerical formats suitable for input into machine learning algorithms, especially in situations where the number of unique categories is large. It works by applying a hash function to map data to a fixed size hash space. First, each feature, say a word tuition, is passed into a hash function. The hash function maps a feature to an index in a fixed dimensional space, which is much smaller than the number of unique categories in the original feature. Since the hash space is fixed, it's possible for different categories to hash to the same value. This results in clearance. In this example, both John Smith and Sandra D shared the same hash value 0 02. However, in practice, collisions are handled using various strategies, such as using a hash table or simply ignoring clearance if they are rare and not significant. The hashed feature is often sparse, with most elements being zeros. This is because each category contributes to only a few dimensions in the fixed dimensional space. Pros and cons. Feature hashing allows you to reduce the dimensionality of your feature space, which is beneficial when dealing with high dimensional data. Feature hashing can save memory compared to using one hard encoding. Feature hashing can be more computationally efficient than one hard encoding, especially when dealing with sparse data. However, feature hashing has some trade offs. Clearance may introduce some loss of information, and the interpreting the result can be more challenging than with traditional one hard encoding. Applications. Feature hashing can be used in text analytics when dealing with a large number of words or n-grams. Feature hashing is often used in situations where the feature space is very large. It can also be used in online learning, image recognition, recommendation systems, etc. Okay, now let's summarize when we can use feature hashing. Feature hashing is essential for efficiently handling high-dimensional data. Despite the challenges like clearance, its benefits typically outweigh the drawbacks, particularly in large-scale applications such as text classification or real-time recommendation systems. Practice. In this module, we explored various methods for feature extraction and feature engineering along with their practical applications. Now it's time to put these techniques into practice and extract the relevant features for your analysis. Thank you all, and I trust that you will enjoy it as your newly created features enhance the performance of your models.